Isn't every matchup a skill matchup? I guess so. I guess all the happy player, happy chaos players are skillful, huh? Shooting us with a skillful aim, throwing that skillful grenade that auto locks for us skillfully. Oh, other than happy chaos, I guess Nago players skillfully, Beyblade skillfully hitting 5K, zero on block, no hurt box and no buttons can engage with it. I guess Ram is pretty skillful too. Skillfully throwing the sword and doing 80% damage. Yo, what's good everybody? We are back and you already know I'm about to tell you guys right now. Support your boy, okay? Support him. Alright, so today's video, we went ahead and we talked about Testament's matchup chart and how we feel about Testament right now. And I think they're pretty alright. I think for with the list that I'm about to show you guys right now, you're going to think, man, this character actually has a lot of potential. So before we jump into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and let me know how you guys feel about this video, okay? Let's jump into it. We are here. We're here to bring you guys. Yo, look, Testament's been out for, I want to say two weeks, right? Two weeks? Pretty good two weeks. Two weeks and a half. And... We already agree that this character actually has a lot of potential. We, I think this character has a lot of potential. But unfortunately, and this is what I think is going to happen. I think right now a lot of people are not going to really give this character a lot of time. There's going to be a lot of special, well, a few specialists. There's never a lot of specialists. There's going to be a few specialists. I think the hardest part right now is we're going to be talking about the strength now. But then I feel like when uh, Season 2 comes out, I truly believe that this character is definitely going to be stronger i think this character is going to be one of those characters where it's good but because the patch came out the character is going to get better and people are going to be like see this character was always good so we're going to go ahead and talk talk about it now i think this character is not easy to play i don't know why this character has a four star rank that's a lie so i want to apologize on the behalf of arxis for lying to all of the new players and veterans alike like me let's check this out okay who's the first character damn kai <laughs> Believe it or not, these characters actually are like the same character in a lot of ways. The problem is with Testament, for them to get the shock state, in my opinion, takes too long for Kai to get the shock state. Like, if we're going to talk about the consistent stain state and like shock state, shock state is more easier. Like, I don't have to throw my fireball, succubus, and then throw my crow. I throw a stun at. And I think, believe it or not, like, I'm not sure if you guys feel this way, but I feel like Kai actually is like really fast. So I feel like trying to like hit normal to normal with the character, it's pretty trash, right? Yeah, Kai is definitely top tier of the normal character. He's a regular ass dude, but he's like the best regular ass dude that you can ever fight. Yeah, he is the normalist guy. He is the normalist. You know, got his lunch pail. You know, he opened, he opened his little lunch bag. You know, he got a Dasani water bottle with a, with a sandwich. He is, indeed, he is indeed king of normal. The problem is, is when you finally do hit this character, it's always your turn. But all it takes is one burst, man. It's pretty rough. Too slow. Testament's, like, win condition is good with resources. When they have, like, a 50 meter, bro, they can oppress you for, like, 30 minutes if they really wanted to. You're going to have to also use that resources a lot dealing with a gun. That gun is indeed is going to uh, drain that meter. Also, Testament's not that fast. So when I think about like Testament player kind of like zoning, quote unquote zoning, it's really hard to like start to teleport because the moment you try like setting up the teleport with the succubus, I feel like they're shooting you now. It's like throw a projectile and it's like, shoot. You charge it, shoot. Obviously, granted, this is pretty rough, but is it is it possible that uh, Testament can't win? It is possible that they can definitely win because this game any character can just win with the reward and how the game nature is you can definitely win anybody can even if the matchup is like terrible but when you're gonna play sets like long sets and things like this the longer the set goes the more obvious these characters strength they're going to show let's go for like an interesting matchup like a contra controversial matchup let's go for this one i don't think it's actually as bad i think it's pretty fair for both players it doesn't seem too bad, but you know, again, make a snowball you. Bro, we definitely gotta take those. You understand? You understand like the caliber of character you have to be to be having a fair matchup against May. You know how like Kai's like the normal, normal uh, the normal tier guy, the normalist of tier guys? May is like the normalist of top tier. She's like the the CEO of top tier, you know? Or the COO of top tier. An uh, honest top tier? I guess you could say that. I guess you could use the H word, honest top tier. I guess so, if you wanna use that word. But I think it's pretty fair. 
Air to air normals. I think testament air normals are actually really good. I don't think a lot of people talk about the air normals. I'm sure Ramola does and uh, Diaphone, but I think these characters, I, I think the characters uh, normals in the air are pretty impressive. They just, they don't look like they're supposed to work, but they work. Also, I think uh, Testament 2K and 5K is really good against uh, Dolphin 2. And because it goes against, it, and plus it goes into 6H, it's really nice. All right. Let's talk about Mr. I'm trying to win this Major Yuki. This matchup is interesting. Not going to win this Major Yuki. <laughs> yep. Not going to, not going to win this Major Yuki. That's his name, dog. Not going to win this Major Yuki. <laughs> I think this character actually uh, gives this character a hard time, honestly. It's so, it's so funny. Like, is it me or I feel like DLC characters are kind of giving a, not a hard time. Well, I guess not biking, but Testament and Happy Chaos. Yeah, you know, you know, the only thing that makes N Nago have this chance is because Nago having no hurt box and like Testament having all the hurt boxes. But I promise you guys, in a in a in a in a competitive world, all characters that have hurt boxes, you'll see the weakness. One thing I will say that Testament has that is pretty annoying, just slightly annoying, I would say, is uh when Nago's in a bad situation and like Testament does have like the mid range to like keep Nago out, it can get pretty, pretty rough. Also, I think uh, Jump Heavy Slap gives Nago a hard time to anti-air too. I'm definitely probably crying, bro. I think this is a May cry. I don't know what it is about Potemkin, but the way he is designed in this game, it's just, it's just not, like, it's just not good for Testament. Your whole goal is revolved around projectiles. He has an anti-projectile. Mega Fist is like minus six. Or I think seven or six. You don't have a fast, you, like you're not in a range to like get anything off of it. So every time you like block like a spaced out mega fish, you only get a jab. Yeah, tough game plan is bait, yellow hammer fall. You know the crazy part about that is you never know, and you you never know when the Potemkin player is going to decide to finally finally live once. That's the scariest part. You you don't know when they're going to ever want to live once. Sometimes they be thinking like they want to live more than once, and then they be like, you know what, f it. But yeah, this is the I May Cry, all right? Look, tears in the eyes, right? We don't want to play this. <sighs> Who's next? Eno. I think he's favorite both ways. It's mad annoying. The funniest thing about Eno, guys, is like, when you fight Eno, you know how like everybody tell you like, man, you got to stop pressing buttons? When you fight this character, it's actually the opposite. You have to hit buttons. You have to hit the right buttons. Like this this character, like the way you fight this character is literally preemptive the character. Like you have to just preemptive make a choice. And it's so hard to explain, like, so you're telling me just to mash everything? Not to mash everything, but you have to know what to mash. But you when you know what to mash, you should always mash that button when you know something's coming. Yeah, it is scary. It's scarier in this game. But you have to do it. Sometimes you gotta mash and be like, oh, he baited it. Alright, time to burst. Immediately. Alright, we got Giovanna. And, uh, you know, it's weird. It's, I almost want to say it's my turn, but the problem is, is like, Testament don't really have great defensive buttons that are like, that like gets them off you. Like they're good at challenging, but they're not get off you. And I don't think it's fair too, because Geo could definitely get to point A to point B very fast. So I think you might be crying a little bit. Look, I'm gonna do this. Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> if you're cool with this, we all I right? okay, we good. All right, we continue. We continue with the tearless, the tearless case, okay? But the question is, is this gonna be the only character in this category? All right, guys, what which character should we which, should we talk about? Because I'm gonna keep it honest with you. I want to talk about a character that everybody said that was like top tier, and I never agreed with it. And they finally agreeing to me now, and that's Milliet. Million, Milliet, Milia. You know, the problem is I feel like the moment she gets, I feel like the moment she gets a sweep off a of testament, this is pretty rough. That is Milia. But when you don't have defensive options, and like, like, you don't have defensive options, and you don't have like good defensive buttons, it's really hard. I thought, I thought anything like anti air, like type of stuff was gonna be good, but then it got counter hit. There's a difference between like good buttons to challenge versus defensive buttons. Is when you look at like Zotto, for example, Zotto has a good challenge button. 
5P, 2P. But then when you look at characters like Soul, you look at characters like Mei, you get characters like Nago, you look at like characters like Kai, they have defensive buttons. If you get defended properly, you're done. Like they defend you out, you're they're out. Like they get the reward. So that's the difference. And like, even though you, you, you do have like great like buttons, it's not going to stop. It's still, you're still fighting for your life. So that's, that's, that's a huge, that, that alone changes a lot in terms of how to like get out of bad situations and how consistent bad situations is going to affect. I mean, not saying that any player that plays defense is not going to get out of a situation, but just know that it's naturally going to be harder. Well, let's talk about Faust. I actually think this is pretty, pretty rough for Faust. And the reason why, because the 6P, that shit knocks down. I think I almost want to put it, it's always my turn. It's pretty rough. Like, and then when you jump, you got to deal with the Grave Reaper. Like, the, the fact that 6P just knocks down, it's just like, boom. And then the items doesn't help either. How does Testament deals with items though? I mean, the fact that you can hit an item and then special cancel it, automatically it's going to give you a hard time because you got to deal with the Grave Reaper. If you hit the bomb and you teleport in, you have to deal with that too. And you're not, and you're not at advantage. Also, Air Grave Reaper kind of gives Faust a hard time too. You can't do jump bomb back. And if you get hit, you get juggled. So that's also pretty annoying. Well, that's the thing is like, even if Faust doesn't jump, 6P is smoking 5K. I, oh, that's another thing too. Faust being tall and Bird normally is hitting him just standing, that's not good. A lot of people also got to see too. When you're crouching in most fighting games, traditionally, when you're crouching in 2D, your hurt box is bigger. So if you have to crouch a lot, in, a, in like a neutral matchup, you're already at a bad advantage. So you, your hurt box is extended. That means you're more accessible of getting hit or blocking. Something could change. I mean, it could change, but from what I've what I played and what I've watched, this is when I every time I see Faust players, this is their face after the set. Mrs. Ramathon. This one's an interesting one. When you look at the character's toolkit, you're like, yo, this is even. But Ram throws a sword, bro. 10 frame far slashes is pretty good, bro. I might cry a lot. I think it might it might, it might be here. Why is it that every character that has a neutral based character all lose to Ram? Have you guys noticed that? Kai loses. Testament loses. Axel loses. Faust loses. Zato loses. But my thing is, is why why the why the neutral characters in this game? Why am why the neutral the top tier neutral characters in this game? They don't win because of the neutral though. They don't win because of the neutral, but for some reason they have the best neutral. No hurt boxes, bro. Ram has one of the best neutrals in Wham Ball Fit? I don't know about that. I, I think I think the hurt box, I think having no hurt box is what makes these characters win. You think if players could like whiff what they're doing now, Rekka being whiff cancelable, you know if they take that change away, that would make her so different? Honestly, they could keep her the way it is. They just add hurt boxes. I'd be very happy. I'd be like, oh. At least if you're whiffing, I could stop you. I just want to engage with the normals. That's all I'm asking for, right? And let me engage with buttons. Anyways, Zato, damn, this is a hard one. Cause I feel like this goes both ways. This might be fair, right? I think this, I think this is pretty even, right? I, I feel like this, this goes both ways. It's definitely a skill matchup. That, that's a very, very. You know, it's fun. That's a very rare thing you'll see in this game. It's like a skill matchup. It's because both players can't just like maul each other down and win. They actually have to play the matchup properly. And you don't see a lot in that in this in this game right now. You know, because the damage output is just so outrageous. But this is a good. That's a good way of looking at it. It's very skillful. Isn't every matchup a skill matchup? I guess so. I guess all the happy player, happy chaos players are skillful, huh? Shooting us with a skillful aim, throwing that skillful grenade that auto locks for us skillfully. Oh, other than Happy Chaos, I guess Nago players skillfully, Beyblade skillfully hitting 5K, zero on block, no hurt box and no buttons can engage with it. I guess Ram is pretty skillful too. Skillfully throwing the sword and doing 80% damage. So yeah, I think it's a skillful matchup. You could tell, I think this matchup, it'll really tell like how good the player knows how to fight this character. And people are not going to get hit by like a lot of like the big hit damage because they know that they don't want to like lose the tug of war of the life lead. Next one. You know, this is going to be a big a spicy one. 
But I actually think this character kinda, 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 kinda get a little smoke, a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Leo actually struggles to get in. It's the first time when I hear a Leo player say, man, Leo struggles to get in. This is the first time I'll be like, wow, that's crazy. Leo struggles to get in. Yeah, you can actually zone him because the the, the, the projectile is multi-hitting. The, uh, the Grave Reaper is two hitting. So it actually gets rid of S Fireball. It's actually pretty nice. And because you get the Succubus, that means you get a Crow. So that means you got two Fireballs. One that nullifies the fireball. Second, put the stain. And then Leo has to get in. If you get hit, you get a juggle. Knock him full screen, gotta play again. Leo actually kinda gets a hard has a hard time. You know a button that's really good against Leo? 2D. I don't know what it is about Testament 2D, but it, it actually it, it actually just gives Leo a hard time. Alright, we almost done guys. Axel. I played this matchup a lot. I think it's fair for both players. I think it's pretty fair. I think it's actually fair. This is a fair matchup. I think it's another skillful matchup too. Yeah, I think it's a fun matchup. I played a really good Axel player a couple of weeks ago. And I, I think this is pretty fair. A fireball is really good against Axel? Yeah. Yeah, because if you teleport, I don't think Axel has a great anti-air to stop any like uh, approach above his head. Unless he like commits. Axel do does outrange them, but the normals like in the mid-range, uh Axel has to really like be aware. Also, I think I think Aerial Grave Reaper is actually really good against Axel too. Which brings me to my next interactive character. Whoa. Biking. It's interesting. It, I feel like when Stain kind of comes into play, it kind of feels a bit kind of feels a bit rough a little bit, right? It's either here or here. It don't feel evenish. Cuz I feel like I feel like Biking can snowball testament pretty rough though. Cuz Biking is a fair character. I slightly think it's pretty hard. Counter doesn't get used much in this match. I think counter should get used a lot in this match because Testament block strings are very slow. Damn, you think Tether makes it in Biker's favor? Well, that's an interesting, that's interesting. Cause I, 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 it's, it's hard to tell what characters you wanna just Tether in neutral. The air game seems pretty fair though, but the ground kind of feels kind of, uh, kind of effed up, you know? Just a little messed up. Yeah, I, I think this is a little, cry a little bit, just a little bit. All right, let's go to the next one, guys. Jacko. Uh, this matchup, I can't tell. This is a matchup I'm going to leave to everybody. All right? I haven't, I, I can confidently say I haven't played this matchup. This matchup seems pretty annoying. But this is, this is pretty interesting. The, I feel like the characters that Testament beat are, like, interesting characters. Anji is an annoying character. But I, I still, I, I, think, I think once Testament controls the neutral well, it's like, it's hard, you know? It feels very, like, comfortable for Testament. The problem is in this matchup is, like, Anji's neutral is not that great. Anji 6P is not that great in the ground, ground to ground. Fusion is just, it's all right, but Nahiha is, like, minus really bad, and, like, their crouching K is just very good. What's Anji win condition? You not knowing the matchup, Mr. Dickinson. Ah, this matchup is so weird, bro. For some weird reason, I feel like I, I feel like Go Lewis kind of kind of roughing the feathers up a little bit, you know? I feel like he kind of roughing the feathers up a little bit. You, we all know that Testament normals are like very bad at hurt box, very bad with like hurt boxes and stuff like that. JD Behemoth, those like mini games and mid screen, and you can't. Zone, oh, by the way, you can't zone out Go Lewis as long because he's just gonna mini gun you. You know what I'm saying? He like he can just mini gun you. Like mad free, and then the moment you get put on defense, bro, what are you gonna do? Like, what 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 are you gonna challenge with? You have hurt you have hurt boxes. The thing is about zoning Gold Lewis is he gets stronger over time. You understand? He gets a meter build by not doing anything, and then the moment he gets it and you press a you press something, he just mini guns you. You out. So I think this is a little cry a little bit. Obviously, granted, I don't think it's impossible, but I think I think I think I think Gold Lewis roughing the feathers a little bit. You know, Chip. Yeah, bro, we we crying. Oh, we crying, dog. We crying a lot. Oh, that matchup. Oh man, dude. I feel like as a Testament player, I don't get a chance to grave nothing. Are we gonna do this? <laughs> we doing this?
Yeah, it's pretty rough, man. This is pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. I, I don't like this. I just watch chip players running IED, doing all the stuff. We can't throw Grave Reaper. The crow the crow be getting crowed up by the by 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 the ninja crow. So yeah, this is pretty bad. Alright, last but not least. The main character, the character that been such a big talk topic. I feel like so don't be talked about as much anymore. But it used to be headline news. Damn, this matchup, I don't know if Testament wins. At best, I feel like it's this. At best. I mean, honestly, if you guess wrong against Soul, if, you're, if your character is average health, you're always gonna die. I think this is, at best, this is the matchup right here. But I definitely is one, I think it's a specialist matchup too. Like, I feel like the Testament player really gotta play Soul really good. Yeah, I think, honestly, believe it or not, BLB, I agree. I think for a character like Testament, this matchup spread is pretty good. This is pretty okay. This is pretty all right. Like, you could win a tournament with this matchup sheet if you really try. So yeah, this is not bad. I mean, you know, it's only gonna get better when season two comes and all the characters change and this character gets untouched. When is season two? We don't know. Hopefully it's soon. But we can all agree, guys. Let's all put our hands together. Buff Kai. <laughs>